you long, beloved. Word. One of the things that has come to my attention, there are people who have crept in who think they are unknown. People who are coming on to this site to challenge, to oppose, to overturn what the Most High sent me to do. I did not choose this of my own free will. Many times the reason why many of you don't see me for periods of time, I wrestled with this. I wrestled with it. And the reason why I wrestled with it is because I know me. I know the sins I have done. I know my temperament. I also know I can't figure out why Yahuwah would send me. I don't have a proud heart speaking the most high's word. Many times I try to get out of it. I think there are better people, far more knowledgeable people, others. And every time I try, he calls me. I did not put myself in this position. Many people whom I never wanted I never even spoke about my uh, site on YouTube. Many family members, many so-called friends have come across me. And they're sitting in judgment. Why would the most high tell her and not me? I'm going to shut her down. What you don't understand, I did not do this. In many ways, I am like that prodigal son, except I'm not looking for my inheritance from Yah. I try to run away from it. That's why many times you guys don't see me. And he meets me at the end of the road or in the middle of the road or in my dreams or in visions and sends me back. Some people think because in the flesh, I'm the favorite child, not me, them. I'm the handsome man. I'm the pretty woman. I'm the one everybody else chose. Well, I'm going to tell you something. The stone that the builders rejected, that stone, you know, the one that everybody thought wasn't good enough. That's the one the most high used. And in many cases, when he picks people, he doesn't pick the one people think because people judge by appearances, by uh, that's the one I can get up there in glory and look good and I'm touched. But if he didn't call you, you need to be careful, beloved. You need to be careful. And I'm going to tell you why. One, you are posing the most high. If he sent me, and if I'm wrong, he going to meet me where you could never enter in and do what you don't have the power to do to me. But if he sent me and you oppose me, you are not in reality opposing me. You are going after the servant of the most high. He said, touch not mine anointed and do mine profit no harm. Beloved, those of us who are the children of the Most High, when your enemy comes up against you and they are touching you with their words, with their actions, with their deeds, and they think nothing's going to come of it, take care of those enemies. It's a fifth thing to fall into the hand of the Most High. I don't even know whether... I should share this, but I'm going to share it because it's on my heart. I had a woman in a car who tried to run me 
off of the road, literally out in traffic and kept trying to push me into the oncoming traffic. She pulled up on the back of my car, got the uh, sensors blaring, and she kept on and kept on and kept on doing it. When we parked, I ran up on the woman and told her, you put my life at jeopardy. You literally could have caused me to lose my life. Oh, it don't matter. It don't matter. Now, I'm going to tell you, I'm a human being, and I got a temperament, and I got mad. Because I was shook. I kept thinking, I'm about to die out here. And she wouldn't stop. For over five times, she tried to run me into the oncoming traffic in the other lane. It was only two lanes. And she kept on and she kept on and she kept on and she kept on. I said something to her. I was so shook, I wanted to go home. But we were both heading to work. And then in my upset, she told me, you need God. And I told her. You reap what you sow. That was less than 30 days ago. Without me being around, I don't even know how it happened. But that same said woman is not in the land of the living anymore. Touch not mine anointed you can take it any way you want to take it but when you run around and you doing evil and you're trying to hide behind your position thinking that some people think if i have more authority on you at, on the job that somehow that gives me authority over you with the lord the lord don't work like man work you best be careful and like I said, because I'm going to go on into other things, there are those who have crept in and think I don't know. But the most high already told me, you got family members that came in on your site. They're using names that are not their own. One of them used my mother's name. And my mother is deceased. Family members and people who are married to family members who are oppositional, who are competitive, who have secret jealousies, and they think that the most high didn't open my eyes to what you do. But I'm going to give you a fair warning because I never lay a hand on you. Touch not mine anointed. That's what our father said. Some of these people that are coming on here are arguing about the testament. My last video, I talked about that some people run around and all the forgive, 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 just forgive everybody, no matter what they do, forgive, forgive, forgive. And I said, there are going to be people that the only way the sins, the murders that they have committed, these heathen nations, the only way their sins are going to be forgiven for the murders they have done. This is from the most high. Now, you might oppose, but you can't stop the law. Their sins have to be cleansed with blood. Blood is the only way to cleanse their sins and to cleanse the land. Now, some of you talk about Yeshua HaMashiach. You got to pray for them. Really? They are enemies of the most high. I'm on Yahoo's side. Anybody that's against my father, I'm against you. Understand, we lying in the sand. I will never, never, not, never, ever, not one time, not one drop, period, be on the side of anything that goes against my father. My master, that's it. This is where I'm at. Now, you can go pray for the enemy. But see, some of you, when you're reading that word, and yes, I'm coming strong, you got what they call itching ears. Tell me what I want to hear. Give it to me with my itching ears. But you see, everything that the Lord says ain't sweet and soft and cuddly cool. You know, when we got 400 years, it wasn't sweet, soft, and cuddly cool. They jumped on Jeremiah 
Tell us what we want to hear. Yes, that whole group of people had what you call itching ears because they didn't want to turn to the truth. Many people talk about everybody, everybody, everybody can be saved. Some people ain't trying to be saved, those heathen nations, because they don't believe. As a matter of fact, they got the spirit of Esau. Now, you got people, well, God is love. God loves everybody. He loves everybody. Beloved, read. I'm going to show you. He loved everybody. I got to find it. Bear with me. He loved everybody. You have to understand. As it is written, we're in the book of Romans, verse 9. I'm sorry, chapter 9, verse 13. As it is written, Jacob have I loved. Who is he talking about? He's talking about the Lord. But Esau have I hated. You know why? Esau did not have a repentant heart. He did not have a repentant heart. Even when he sold his birthright, even when he repented, he did not repent the way we think of repentance, the way the most high requires it. He repented of material loss. He repented for what he lost. He did not repent while trying to honor the laws, the statutes, and the commands of the most high. He repented because he lost something. You see, there are people out here. They look at their siblings and the sibling did something or got something that initially belonged to the elder, but the elder rejected it. They thought very little of it. And the younger honored it. They wanted it. And when they saw the elder, I mean, saw the value of what the younger had, they hated the younger. It had nothing to do with wanting to honor the most high. Many people think they can choose who's going to be who. Hmm. Doesn't work like that. A lot of times, even family, you're trying to determine who the Lord going to use. When you look at the covenant, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Isaac favored Esau. Isaac did, even though Isaac is directly under that covenant. But just because the family favored Boom Boom over there, that don't have nothing to do with what Yahuwah chose to do. Because he knows the heart. Mm. Isaac himself favored Esau. But this is what the Lord said. Hmm. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau I hated. Wait a minute, wait a minute now. Whoa. Lord love everybody. Lord love everybody. Everybody, everybody don't matter what you do. That's what you say. I've got people attacking you using that churchanity without knowledge, without studying, bringing milk to the plate of where there's nothing but meat and trying to pass it off. It's not going to work, beloved. It's not about whether you win some verbal exchange with me. It's about misleading Yahuwah's people. Well, now, this is what I get. I'm going I'm to move on from this. Let's keep going. It's all about the new covenant, new covenant, new covenant. That's all I'm getting. Somebody just attacking because you know, the, the old covenant don't work. Have you, beloved, read? Do you understand how it's not done away with completely the way you think, the way this, this, these writings are coming in? What is the new covenant? And these people who are speaking about this new covenant versus old covenant, has the covenant, the new one, come to complete fruition? Hmm. A part of it has, but has it come to complete fruition? Bear with me, beloved. Bear with me, okay? Bear with me, because I had 
the book of Hebrews. I'm hoping I did not lose it. I believe it's in here. I'm, I may have to pull it up again on my own. Book of Hebrews, beloved. That new covenant that we solely under the new covenant as though the old one is totally forgotten. Just, just don't exist no more. Here it is. Bring me the Hebrews, Lord. Don't talk about the old covenant. It ain't about the old covenant. Jesus only dealt with the new covenant, the new testament. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. I'm glad he didn't put you in the front line because you'd have people walking in the walls. And you're arguing at me like you have knowledge, like the Lord put you here. But he didn't. Opposers, you need to be careful, beloved. You need to be careful. First of all, you said it ain't about old covenant. But let's look at what Yeshua HaMashiach said. Hmm. We are in the book of Hebrews, beloved. Come on. Don't take my word. Here come the Lord. Word of God. Who is Yeshua HaMashiach? He's the word of God. How do we know that? Book of Revelations, chapter 19. Easiest place to find. He's the word of God. Mm, that's one of his names. All right. But for those who believe, the old covenant just completely done away with everything Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus, did is only New Testament. Come on now. Come on now. Saying ugly things on my site. First and foremost, let me say this. Anybody that doesn't agree, instead of coming on here playing little girl games and little boy games, go away. You don't have to agree. You think anything you want. Your answers will go to the most high. You don't have to answer to me. But when you come on here and you're writing all kinds of things and getting emails all crazy, come on. We can bring this thing right to the front row. No itching ears. We're not going to do itchy ears and take it what you want to hear. We're going to tell you what the Most High said. This ain't my word. You said Old Testament done away with. Hmm. But you went to Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus. All right. Let's see what Yeshua HaMashiach said. Book of Hebrews, chapter 10, verse 7. Then said I, lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me to do thy will Oh God, he didn't come in New Testament only. He the whole book. When he's talking, he's speaking Old Testament, New Testament. He came in the volume of the book. Had you studied the book before you came disrespectfully saying all manner of statements to me, and some of you, like I said, are family and fakes creeping in. You want to tear down the work the Lord is doing. Be careful. Be careful that he don't enter in. Then said I, lo, I come. Who? This is Yahshua HaMashiach talk. See, he ain't come to your will because your will would have done away with the Old Testament. Then said I, lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me to do thy will. Hold it. He's not just in the New Testament. Mm. It's in the volume of the book. It is written of me. Why? He's the word of the most high. Mm. Above when he says sacrifices and offerings and burnt offerings and offerings for sin, thou wouldest not. Neither had pleasure therein, which are offered by the law. Okay. Mm. Mm. Then said he, lo, I come to do thy will, O God. He taketh away the first that he may establish the second. Does that mean the first is just thrown out with the bath water? Let's look at this. What is the new covenant? What is it? Hmm. And has it come, come to pass yet? Hmm. Let's see. By the which we will, we, by the which will we are sick sanctified through the offering of the body of Christ once and for all. Let me go to where it is at. I believe it's before that. Bear with me, ladies and gentlemen, because I highlighted them. 
I highlighted them. I hope my highlights didn't go away. It appears they did. It appears they did. All right. I'm just going to say it. You can go into the book of Hebrews and find it for yourself. Let's talk about their new covenant. Jeremiah talked about the new covenant. What? It's in the Old Testament where he talked about the New Testament. Who? Jeremiah. They didn't do away with it the way you think they did. But I'm going to find it so you can see it for yourself. Mm. Behold, Jeremiah chapter 31. I'm starting at 31st verse. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will make a new covenant. Now, these same said people, it's for everybody, 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 everybody. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will make a new covenant with the who? House of Israel and with the house of Judah. Let's highlight that because these are not my words. This is the Lord talking. That's Lord. See, some people, they put their words in place of the Lord's words. You best be quiet. Them is the Lord's words. All right. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will put, make a new covenant. Who is making it with? Everybody, everybody. That's what some people say. Mm -mm, mm -mm. He didn't make it with the heathens. No, he didn't. That I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel. Mm, ain't my words. That's the Lord's words. Talking to his prophet, Jeremiah. And with the house of Judah. Mm, mm, mm. There it is. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt, which my covenant they break, although I was a husband unto them, saith the Lord. Mm, mm, mm. Wait a minute. But this shall be the covenant that I will make with them. But this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. After those days, saith the Lord, I will put my law in their inward parts. Oh, wait, did he throw the law out with the bath water? Where's it at now? Wait a minute, let's go back. I will put my law in their inward parts and write it in their hearts. Mm. And I will be their God and they shall be my people. And they shall teach no more every man his neighbor and every man his brother saying, know the Lord, for they shall all know me. From the least of them unto the greatest of them, saith the Lord, for I will forgive their iniquity and I will remember their sin no more. That's the new covenant, beloved. I think right now we haven't gone fully into it. Now, the forgiveness of sins, the high priest, the priest thing, Yeshua HaMashiach went into the Holy of Holies. There's a new covenant in the way it is done. Because you see, when the people had the high priest, these high priests had to represent the people and go in and sacrifice to get their sin forgiven. They were using the blood of bulls and goats and lambs, rams and such. But it didn't last. So you had to get the high priest to go into the Holy of Holies because people couldn't come for the Lord. They couldn't go before the Lord. Only the high priest. And he only went in once a year. And if he wasn't right, the high priest, because you know he was just a man, they had to have bells on the bottom of his skirts had a rope around him because he could get in front of that holy of holies and if he wasn't right he could die and they had that rope where they had to pull him out if he died but you see there was a new and a better way to get it done once and for all what the removal of sins that's part of the new covenant but the whole new covenant is not complete how do we know that because Part of it says, this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. After those days, saith the Lord, I will put my law in their inward part and write it in their hearts. And I will be their God and they shall be my people and they shall no more teach every man his neighbor. Now, the word of the Lord is in us. The Holy Spirit brings it into our remembrance. 
But some of the house of Yashoret is not taught. So that covenant has not come about complete yet. Okay. Let's go back. Now, when I talked about the heathen, the heathen, I'm just backing it up with scripture that the heathen must pay with their blood for spilling the blood of Yasharel and others. They don't soak lands with blood and murder. How does the land get cleansed? Blood. Blood of who? The blood of the one that did it. Hmm. You keep hollering forgiveness, forgiveness. The land's polluted. Your forgiving them is not going to cleanse the land. We got to do it, Yahoo, as well. All right. Be not deceived. This is the Lord talking. This ain't me talking. Because you got some talkers. It's not about lack of forgiveness. There comes a point called justice. There comes a point called retribution. Here's how deep it gets. If you think the Lord going to be saving heathens the way he going to be saving Gentiles, you done gone crazy. Because it's just going to be a big old mess. And the Lord don't, don't do mess. He don't bless no mess. That's what old school says. He ain't bless no mess. That's the Lord. He ain't going to bless no mess. But come on. Not my word. His word. Don't follow me. Follow him. This message, this is the Lord's message. I'm just a messenger. But see, there's some people, I don't want you to be the messenger. Well, the Lord did. And if you got an issue, you might want to take it up with the Lord. But I, I, I would trade lightly. I, I'm, I'm telling you now, I trade lightly. That's why sometimes y'all don't hear from me. Because I have never known a day that I felt good enough. But I have known many days when my father says, Speak, and that's just what I do when it when it get too heavy, when it get too strong, and it got to come out. Now you see me. He'll stir my spirit up. He won't let me rest. I'll be walking around for a week. I try. I I I per I wasn't even gonna come on here no more. This will have nothing to do with this video or the video before it. I'm telling you, when I get in front of the Lord, I know me, Lord. I get moments I get PO'd. I get moments I think my feet are, are just, I'm like a blazing fire when somebody upsets me. I, footsteps of fire, boom, boom, boom. Like, Lord, do you know who you picked? I love him more than any moving creature on this earth. Why? Because people lie, they got game. It, it's crazy. He know I love him. And I know he know all my secrets. And he loved me anyway. And I don't try to do those things that are against him, but I don't lie and try to play perfect. Some folks want to sit back. I'm going to pick everything apart. Honey, honey, honey. Why you picking on the Lord's servant? You better be careful. The spirit ain't looking at you because you have basically exalted yourself to the position. I'm going to be the authority. Okay. Okay. Be careful. That's all I got to say. I've seen things happen to people. I have seen things happen to people. I got scared. I got scared. I, I have prayed for people because it got crazy on them. I've seen something and just got scared. And I'm, I'm, I'm running around repenting and begging for mercy. It wasn't even on me. It was on them. But Lord, whoo. I'm only here by way of a miracle, by everything. There's so many things that happened to me when I was younger. Things that have occurred even recently that. Till he called me home. And I'm quite sure there's a time he's going to call me too. And I got to stand up. But let me just tell you, when the Lord be judging me, you and your pins won't be standing there. You won't. And if you're crazy enough to try to get in, go on, Lord. I'm going to get out of the way. I told him. Go on. You need to work out your own salvation with fear and trembling while you judging, while you sitting in judgment. I can say beyond a shadow of a doubt, my father sent me here. The question I ask you is, by whom authority were you sent? And see, I run when he, I, I just don't want to have a Jonah moment. I run and he know me. 
he knows me. And I don't care. You really don't know me in the relationship me and Yahoo have. But he know me. I ran. I ran. And he, I can barely get across the floor. He will become the floor. He will become the door. He'll be the knob I'm reaching for. I know him. But the question is, if you sitting in with self-appointed authority, beloved, 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 you looking for love, be careful. We supposed to love one another. All right, I'm going to give you some love. You better check what you're doing. You going after the Lord's servant based on your eyeballs, flesh, and jealousy, and all kinds of things. Anybody to deal with the Lord, trust and believe. They not running around feeling puffed up. Not if they're dealing with the Lord. I know this, the Lord. You get terrified when the spirit come in the room sometimes. Terror. Just trying to be in the presence. But you know the Lord. Let's go on. Be not deceived. God, yeah, is not mine. For whatsoever a man soweth, shall he also reap. Hmm. When Yasharel went against what the Most High told us, we went into captivity. We was murdered brutalized, raped, robbed, plundered to this day, to this day. But we posted to forgive everybody, everybody. Oh, Lord, forgive my own. You done lost your mind. I'm going by what the Lord said. And these are heathens. Let's be clear. These are heathens. How do we know they're heathens? Because if they were following what the most I said, not what I said, not what you said, the Lord said, these evil acts would not be done. We are not supposed to treat the strangers among us contemptuously. We aren't. And for the most part, brothers and sisters don't. We too busy dealing with our own mess. We normally ain't running around here messing with other folk. We'll respond to them when they bring in crap, but we're not running around banging on doors and bothering folks that ain't bothering us first. Be not deceived. Galatians chapter 6, verses 7 through 9. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, shall he also reap. You so murder, child, please. And we're talking heathens, not Gentiles. Get it right. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit. Mm, reap everlasting life mm. and let us not be weary in well-doing for in due season we shall reap if we faint not now some people think that everybody is a gentile everybody going to glory they all going to glory Whew, Lord have mercy. let's go i gotta find it the book of romans beloved there are some Gentiles brought in. People go into a debate about who the Gentiles are. I do not know everything. I only know what the Lord sent me to say. I don't know everything. Once again, you got to talk to the Lord. But I do know there are Gentiles coming in. However, you see, if the Gentiles know the word of the Most High, they also know Yasharel is the Lord's chosen people. How we know that? How we know that? Mm, wait a minute now. Wait a minute. Mm. We're in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, at 6 first. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Now, some people try to say, well, y'all trying to brag. Child, we've sitting up in 400 years of captivity. It just came to the end. Tell me the part that we bragging about. Y'all trying to make yourself special. The Lord did that. Read the book. He did that. But here's the thing. If we go against him, it didn't do well for us. But you see, some people, they try to flip the script. You trying to exclude people. We show sure enough all. Heathens can't come by here. Heathens can't come by here. And the Gentiles that the Lord allowed, he'll bring in. But heathens can't come by here. See, some people think, well, that's over. It don't count no more. Really? 
Mm. Wait a minute. I want to find Jeremiah where some people try to do that old replacement theory. The old replacement theory. Okay. Trying to find it. Forgive me. Bear with me. Okay. Because there's a lot here. All right. Don't know. Wait a minute. Maybe it's here. I think it's on the next page again. You got to be patient. Nope, it's not on that one. Okay. Trying to find it. Like where those who think that uh, the Lord just got rid of Yashara. They just figured it's, it's over. It's everybody, everybody. Oh, everybody, Lord have mercy. Mm -mm -mm. I'm trying to find it, beloved. Where he's telling you that if the seasons, here it is, I got you. All right. We're in the book of Jeremiah. I believe I'm still in the 31st chapter. I'm at verse 35. Thus saith the Lord, which giveth the sun for a light by day and the ordinance of the moon and the stars for a light by night, which divideth the sea when the rays therefore, thereof roar. The Lord of hosts is his name. If those ordinances, what ordinances? You know, the one that gave the sun for light by day and the moon and the stars for light by night, who divideth the sea when the waves thereof roar, that Lord, if those ordinances depart from before him, mm, saith the Lord, then the seed of Israel shall also cease from being a nation before me forever. Mm, mm, mm. No, beloved, that everybody. The Lord love everybody. I just showed you Jacob and Esau. Eda, beloved. Old Testament, New Testament. All right. The law could not do what Yeshua HaMashiach did. But did the law get removed? No, no. He did a new and better way. How do we know that? Did he just get rid of the whole Old Testament, like tear the Bible out, throw it away? Come on now. Come on. Come on. What's the Lord going to do with that New Testament? Because some folk, we only going by New Testament, New Testament. Even Yeshua HaMashiach himself is quoting Old Testament all over the place. But yet somehow some people, because you know they're intellectual, they got rid of it. Mm. Wait a minute now. Let me see if I can go back. Get it right. Get it right. Get it right. It's 31, 31. Let me find 31, 31. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will make a new covenant. That's what I was told and argued about and the person, whatever. With the house of Yasharel. Hold it. But this person arguing, arguing, arguing. Who's the new covenant with? The house of Yasharel and with the house of Judah. That's who he's making the new covenant with. He made the old one with him. The heathen wasn't there. He, they weren't there. Check the Bible. He, they was not there. Okay. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt, which my covenant they break. Although I was a husband unto them, saith the Lord. See, the Lord is married to Yahshua. Remember, he chose us to be a peculiar people, a nation of priests. Maybe that's why I'm speaking. Hmm. No, 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 no. But we're not in the Old Testament. Or are we? Line upon line, precept upon precept. Here a little, there a little, here a little, there a little. Hmm. But this is the covenant. But this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Yasharel. After those days, saith the Lord, I will put my law in their inward parts. Wait a minute. What? Oh, this the new covenant he putting in laws? I thought they was gone. Let's check this out. It's not my word. 
the word of the Lord. It's the word of the Lord. Stay with me, beloved. This is the new covenant spoken about by Jeremiah in the old covenant. What do you know? Wait a minute. Didn't Yeshua HaMashiach in the book of Hebrew say I come in the volume of the book? Well, here's an example. Okay. But this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. After those days, saith the Lord, I will put my law. Hmm. Woo -wee. In their inward parts and write it in their hearts. And I will be their God and they shall be my people. Gets deeper. And they shall teach no more every man, wait a minute, his neighbor, and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord, for they shall all know me. What? So we're going into something brand new, beloved, when he takes us home. We're not going to be sitting there learning the other stuff. I believe it's going to be some, it's just like the book of Revelation say, there are books that have yet to be opened, knowledge given to us that's not here, okay? But the parts we were supposed to already have, right, so he can bring us in to that new and perfect way, wait a minute now. Nah. And they shall teach no more every man his neighbor. See, you won't see videos like this from me. Not, not like this, because this will be gone. This will be in the background. This is the new covenant. There will be no more teaching this. And they shall teach no more every man his neighbor and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord, for they shall all know me. From the least of them unto the greatest of them, saith the Lord, for I will forgive their iniquity. Who praise God, because I got some, you got some, I ain't trying to stand above nobody. I'm working out my own salvation with fear and trembling. Repent, beloved, and I will remember their sin no more. You know, if he called us to account just for what we have done up to this point, I'm in that same group, I'm listening, we all done. For there is none of us that has not sinned, no, not one who come on now but this for those who we in a new covenant you sure how mashiach is a high priest who went in and he sacrificed for our sins once and for all he went in a new way no he did not come from the tribe of levi he did not come from the order of Aaron where the high priests were. Mm, 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 mm. No, he didn't. We can, you can look it up in the book of Hebrews because I'm going to stop flipping and flopping through all of this. I'm going to just talk. He came through the tribe of Judah and he's a high priest after the order of Melchizedek. No beginning, no end. That's who he is. He went in knowing our infirmities. He knew. No, he didn't go into a house made by the hands of man, patterned after that which is in the heavens. Mm -mm. He went into the real holy of holies. He made a way out of no way for us to be able to enter in before our Father in his name with his blood. What? Wait, hold on now. For this thing to work, blood had to be shed. That's right. First covenant, first testament, sealed in blood. Somebody, something had to die. Get this thing clean. These sins in Yeshua HaMashiach had to lay it down too. He had to give up the blood he had to give up the blood when you go into the new testament i'm not pulling up all kinds of books when yeshua hamashiach comes back take note of something he's flesh and bone when he comes back he talks about it. but there ain't no blood he says it i need to find that book just for another day so when the Lord comes after the enemy. Who enemy? First and foremost, they're the enemy of the Lord. I'm not praying for them. Just forget about it. No. The heathens who they dishonored the most high. 
That's first and foremost. They dishonored the most high. They have committed egregious sins against the law, statutes, and word of the most high. And how do you cleanse that? Blood. See, you can't call down the blood of the lamb to be upon you and not understand. Somebody had to lay their life down to clean this thing up and not understand. See, wait a minute now. Oh, look, look. Let's get it right. When we asked for forgiveness of our sins, somebody had to die to get it. Yeshua HaMashiach stepped up. A lot of people were rejecting them. You know, the stone of builders rejected. But wait a minute, wait a minute. We can't get you forgiven once and for all unless somebody lay down their blood. They got to give up their life for this thing. Well, all this polluted sin by these heathen nations. Deuteronomy chapter 30 tells you when most I come back for us, the curses are going on our enemies. Now you can pray for forgiveness all you want for them. Those are the heathens. I'm not praying for them. I'm praying that the will of my father be done. I'm praying that those who he chooses will come to him. Be they Gentile, house of Yasharel, Judah, Lord have mercy on their soul. But I'm not praying for anybody that don't like my father. Period. I can pray that the Lord leads them to repentance. Sure. But let me tell you something while you, the Lord love everybody. Yeshua HaMashiach is a warrior. I don't know if you've read the book complete. He's coming back with an army. When them angels loose and they've been loose um, for the evil they have done, they have polluted the lands with murder. Now we can go by your word. And just forgive everybody. Or we can recognize what the most high said. See, even when you take somebody's life, you, me, well, you take somebody's life. My father, our father, if you're following his word, not your word, not my word. I didn't write the Bible, but bless the Lord's word. Life for life, beloved. You going to pay back. And these heathen nations who have done this evil, time's up. Time's up. Now, I'm not running around with hate in my heart, although, wait, I'm going to hate what my father hates. Yep, wait, oh, wait, I, I, let me correct that. There are certain things my father hates. I hate it, too. Yes, I do. I hate when somebody shed innocent blood. Listen to the words I say. It. Listen to the words I say. I hate when somebody sheds innocent blood. I bore it. I bore it. Yes, I do. I hate when somebody sows discord between brethren when people are at peace and ain't no trouble around and you get one of them little troublemakers come. Yeah, I hate that. See, there's something called righteous hatred, righteous anger. Don't get it twisted. Don't you bring in all that itchy, itchy, ooh, ooh, ear. Trying to make sin in my father's house. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. I hate what my father hate. I hate what Yeshua Hamashiach, your, what Yahuwah hate. If he hate it, I hate it. Even if I ain't know, what, what is it, Lord? You don't like what? I don't like it either. That's how I'm rolling. I'm on his side. Nope. You abandon hope. I ain't coming with you. God, what'd you say you hate? Well, I hate that too. If he got some new stuff on the list, I hate that too. He hate it, I hate it. That's how it is. I ain't budging. Now, you can go spread all the love you want because there is love. See, first and foremost, let's bring it back around. That's your love the Lord thy God with all that heart. How you loving the Lord thy God? Loving the things he hates. Wait a minute now. <sighs> Don't play the twisty twisties. Let's not do the twisty twisties. Because Lord help us, Jesus. We, we just going to bring this thing in the normal. Okay, let's, let, let's go flesh on this thing to, to, to bring it in. If you got a friend, you good to your friend, and your friend sides with your enemy, person trying to do you harm, tell me about love. You feeling love for that? Hmm. 
Here's your husband. Here's your wife. These people trying to kill you because they just crazy. They just crazy. Cuckoo crazy. Can you imagine? I just love them. The Lord love everybody. I love everybody. I ain't gonna love you. Nope. Mm-mm. Nope. Ain't gonna happen. And see, a lot of people are speaking hypocrisy. See, let's 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 get this right. We're made in his image. We are made in his image. What that mean? What that mean? That mean that we like him. He hated. We hate it. So I ain't gonna sit here and say I don't hate everything. That's a lie. I click help me, Lord. I hate what my father hate. Mm-hmm. That's right. I'm on what what side you on, Lord? Let me move over. Give me a little bit of space, Lord. I'm right here with you. I'll ban everybody on the ship. I'm going with the Lord. That's how it is. He love it. I love it. Even if I, I get Lord help me work this thing out. But if you love it and I'm supposed to love it, teach me, temper my heart, regenerate my mind, beat my soul down, make me the clay so the potter can reshape me. I'm on his side. Perry, not my will, his will be done. Not my will, his will be done. So when you start going against and getting along to go, we got to love everybody, everybody. I'm loving the Lord. I'm trying to find out what he want me to do. What you love, Lord, what you love us to do. That's where I'm at. And when you talk New Testament, they didn't just take the Old Testament, throw it out there with the wood pile. You got to understand, beloved. You got to understand. And when the Most High comes and he cleanses all this murder, I don't want it to keep going. The blood is crying out from the land. These murders, these innocent people. See, some of y'all, we're not going to do no hypocrisy up in here. If somebody was trying to kill you and you just going about your merry way, ain't doing nothing wrong. I don't care what color you are. I don't, and you did nothing. I be looking at it like they out here killing innocent people. I'm not. I, I'm not backing that. But you see, some people. Mm, I got to carry this around while I go turn the light on because the light behind me is just going crazy. Okay, bear with me. This calls for patience. This calls for patience. Okay, I turn the room light on because everything else is just acting up. Okay. Now, some of y'all tripping. Okay, some of y'all tripping. It's hot. It's summertime. Okay. You got the plagues loosed. The hell is falling. Heat waves. You remember he said... I will let, not let the sun smite thee by day nor the moon by night. Whoo, thank God for melanin, baby. Because there's some folks, that sun ain't doing them no good. Just saying, just putting it out there. Okay, um, this was something I need to clear up. I don't even know how long this has been running. But that God is love, God is love. He is. When you follow his statute... I don't know if you understand the commands. Adam didn't listen. Death came. And God was still loved then. Yahuwah was loved then. Hmm. But the punishment came. Don't think you can just go out here and do nothing and nothing. Do something and just, we just pray for forgiveness and let it go. You crazy. That's against the law of the most high. That's not how it works. We sitting here 400 years of pure hell because we had to pay the price. And you better believe that price was paid in blood. We paid the price in blood. Now, those heathens who have raped the earth and the people thereof and dishonored God. Listen here. They making jokes about the most high. Yeah, they are. You think? nothing's going to happen because you want to holler love, then you ain't really loving the Lord. That's your love the Lord that God with all thy heart, all thy mind, all thy soul, and all thy strength. 
If I love you, Lord, I'm on your side. Pit. If my ignorance love you, why? Because if you said it, you being all knowing, all knowledgeable, all wise, all might. See, whew, just bring me into understanding, Lord. Give me wisdom. Give me understanding if I can't see which way this thing is going. But I don't care. I'm going to follow the light of the Lord and his word and his glorious spirit. This is not promoting evil. This is removing it. Don't bring that churchanity up in here. Don't bring your churchanity back. And that new covenant is not completely fulfilled. We are moving in faith because Yeshua HaMashiach did die for us. But we have not finished the new covenant. His law statutes and ain't written in our hearts and no man got to teach us. Shut the churches down if the new covenant is all finished up. My father, our father, he's a man of war. Now, let's talk about God is love. He's a man of war. The Lord will stop both. And I'm waiting for the man of war. He doesn't lose, child. He cooking the earth, floods, hell. Listen, over there in Australia, now, you talk your love. They went into Australia. These people, this is the aborigines. And Britain and these people, they unleashed, they unleashed and emptied their prisons into that, that land. And what is it? New Zealand. The Mararis are in New Zealand. Aborigines are in Australia. They were taking their daughters. This is up to the 70s and 80s, taking their daughters, trying to breed them right out of existence. Now, you see the plagues, mice, bats, all kind of stuff going on over in Australia. You see these heat waves. Child, there's uh, hailstones falling over there in Europe, just boom, 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 like rock. I believe it was Spain and Switzerland they were talking about. Russia got all hell breaking loose. They don't even want to put it on the news. Hmm. You know, the Lord talk about his weapons of war. You know, his weapons of war. Mm. His weapons of war. You know, the weather are part of his arsenal for, from his weapons of war. You know that? He did it in Egypt. The weather and changing since they love blood. Come on now. You love murder, murder pursuing you. They got these shootouts, just people going crazy. People just going crazy. Am I telling people to do all this? No, that's the law is doing. And let me just say one more time because I want it established. You can put it on my gravestone. I love the Lord. I'm on his side. You can abandon ship. I'm still here. Lord, you here? Yep, I'm sitting down. I ain't going nowhere, Lord. If you said it, I'm on your side. I don't even, if I don't understand everything, you will bring it to me by and by when the morning comes. Yes, Lord. I might not understand everything right now, but it'll come to me by and by. I'll understand it better by and by. I will understand it better. So will you. There was a lot of things I wanted to cover. If I realize there's some things I miss, I'll go back into it in another video. This is not my doing, beloved. And you can challenge me if that's what you want to do, but I gave you fair warning. And coming on here by fake names and trying to do stuff because you found my channel. I never told you about the channel because I did this with the house of Yasharel. If you are of the house of Yasharel and you're following the Lord, not me, because I'm just flesh and blood. Let me tell you something. Even if I die, his word is going to keep going. He's going to find another messenger. He's going to get it out there. The Lord will. So if I were you, I wouldn't be fighting against the Lord. I let the Lord move as he move, do what he do. And even though he bringing in the Gentiles, let's be clear, there's a limit to the Gentiles, beloved. There is a limit to the Gentiles. Don't try to give the Gentiles a place they don't have. 
See, some of these people think, well, now that I'm in the Lord's word too, everybody, everybody, everybody the same. You lost your mind. Don't you do it. I'm going to give you what the Lord said. We in the book of Romans, beloved. I'm going to finish with this. Chapter 11, and I'm starting at the 18th verse. Yes, these wild branches, the Gentiles, boast not against the branches. Which branch? That's Yashorel and Judah. Mm-hmm. Yeshua HaMashiach came from tribe Judah. But let me finish. But if thou boast, thou bearest not the root, but the root. V. Who's the root? Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Thou wilt say then the branches were broken off that I might be grafted in. Well, because of unbelief, they were broken off. And thou standest by faith. Be not high-minded, but fair. For if Yah spared not the natural branches, hmm, take heed lest he spare thee not. And to finish with the Ebi, Ebi, Ebi thing. You better check out the names of the New Jerusalem. I, I went into this in previous videos. You got people running around here with itchy ears. Itchy ears. You just, just tell me what I want to hear. Everybody, everybody. You, you, you're trying to let people in. That Lord ain't going to bless no mess. He not going to bless no mess. He not going to do it. He told us. Some of these people are given over to a reprobate mind. It's all right if you can't Lord love you in a way. You speaking against the word of the Most High. I'm not running around hating people. I'm not running around doing all that. But Lord ain't going for that. He reprobate mind. And other people enjoy people that do that kind of mess. They don't want to remember the Lord. They get off to honoring each other. And love the ones that honor each other too. They celebrate flesh, knowing it grow old, knowing it withers and gets weak and dies, like it's all that, okay? And all these people that's robbing Yahshua, I mean, Yahshua, hmm. keep your eyes open, beloved. Even when they move into these neighborhoods, taking your houses and all of these things, he flipping the script, turning it upside down, beloved. Yes, he is. There ain't going to be no joy in them houses. No, it's not. Because the curse is over and plagues are loose. Not on Yashorel, but on those who were enemies of the Lord who did not follow what the Lord said. For those who supported Yashorel and helped Yashorel, and most of all, let, let, let me reverse that, who honored the most high. May the Lord God have mercy on you. But understand something. Why you have mercy for everybody? There were innocents among Yashorel. We had to pay that price. The price of what our ancestors did. We weren't even born back then. His word went out, didn't come back void. Don't get it twisted. When they was back there doing all that in the days of Jeremiah, I wasn't there. You weren't there. But his word went out and didn't come back void. You're going to pay the price. And guess what? Those who have done evil, who have filled the land with murder. The blood of these innocent people is crying out from the land. The Most High is cleansing it, okay? He's cleansing it. And let's be clear, there's something called righteous anger. So you don't get it twisted. We ain't gonna do the itchy ears, the, the church anity. We ain't gonna do the itchy ears. There's such thing as righteous anger. And the Lord, you better read when those angels are blowing their trumpets, when they're pouring out the vials of wrath because they're being poured out, beloved, against the heathens. I didn't say the Gentiles, and there's a point where the number of the Gentiles come in and that's it. But when you talk about Old Testament, New Testament, like the Old Testament is tossed out there in the wood pile, learn the word of the Lord, beloved. He took it to where it belongs. The blood of goats and rams and bullocks could not remove sin from us. So he brought in a perfect lamb, his own son. How did that sin get cleansed? That sin that lead to death. How did it get cleansed? Hmm. Yeshua HaMashiach had to shed his blood. He had to give up his life. Why? 
because many of the things that Yahshua, I mean, Yasharel was doing was leading us to death. And he loved us so much. For the, for the, y'all so loved the world. You better understand the world. A lot of people, think, that's everybody. Lord, have mercy. Let me see if I can find it. I, I, I'm just going to Hebrews. I believe it's Hebrews 1. So you understand the world. And I'm not being smart. I'm just tired. Okay. Let's go down. And I'm going to finish with this. For, for y'all so love the world. Hmm. Yah, who has sundry times and in diver manner spoken time past unto the fathers by the prophets, hath in the these last days spoken to us by his son, whom he has appointed heir over all things, by whom also he made the worlds. Let me highlight that, child, so you see it. So you see it. He made the worlds. So there's a certain world on this earth, like the world of sports. The world of basketball, the world of ballet, the world of Yashara. Hmm. The world's, he, this right here, Hebrews chapter one, verse two. Yes, Yash so loved the world. What world? The world and the earth are not the same thing. The, the word world and the word earth, two different things. He had in these last days, I'm gonna just highlight the whole passage. get that out of the way hath in these last days spoken to us by his son whom he have appointed heir of all things by whom also he made the worlds now you might holler that the planets listen good luck with that okay good luck with that there was something else i wanted to say but i can't remember right now so i'm going to leave it because it's sharing a lot it's sharing a lot there are Gentiles that Yahuwah chose the people for his name from the Gentiles. That's why when the fullness of the Gentiles come in, it's the end of Esau. The end of Esau's world, okay? But I don't want to keep going because I can keep going and it's going to sound like I'm all over the place. Sacrifice for sin is no longer necessary. There's no high priest running into the Holy of Holies. Why? Because our high priest, Yeshua HaMashiach, went in once and for all. That part of the Old Testament and those old behaviors are gone. But the law, you have to understand what went on in that new covenant. And that the new covenant is not complete yet. It's not totally fulfilled yet. Is it in our, in our hearts? Do, do we have it? Does the Holy Spirit let that word go into us and bring it into our remembrance? Yes, it does. But the word said, no man from the least to the greatest would have need that any man teach him. Why? Because he going to write it in our inward parts and across our hearts. Everybody, least to the greatest. That's the fulfillment of that part. And he's going to be tearing the heathens out the frame when he do it. He's going to cleanse the earth of this evil. That's what he's going to do. I had to put it out there, beloved, because uh, some people, you want to be the, the rah, rah, rah. You want to prove something about yourself. It's an ego boost. I want to oppose you. See, that's not the spirit of edification. That's not even the spirit of knowledge. That's the spirit of competition, opposition, some type of self-esteem concern. But work it out with the Lord. Work it out with the Lord. Do not make so much as one of y'all's little ones fall because you're going after a person and don't care about the group of people getting the message and the truth for the Lord's word. If I say something wrong, he right here to correct me. He here to correct me. And if we correct one another, we do it with love, not with intent to tear each other down. Anything the Lord gave me, he did not give it to me for me to brag and boast. I'm just flesh and blood. The Lord gives us the gifts of the spirit for the building up. Oh, check it out now. What? Mm -hmm. 
for the building of the entire body. While we honor him. It's not just for me, not for you. It's for everybody that the Lord brought under him. Mm -hmm. So the gifts of the spirit, the call of the spirit, the Lord may use me for a certain period of time and then say, that's it. Because there is going to come a day when the preaching work stops. That's it. He coming in and he tearing it up. Clean up time. Yes, Lord. I love it. A word. Be blessed. I hope you understand. And yes, I do celebrate the end of this matter because we going home. That's the other thing. While they're taking different things from Yasha Rep here in these lands of our captivity, they're not going to be able to enjoy it because the spirit of the Lord is loosed on them. We are going home. We're not carrying all this stuff with us. So we also have to have the attitude of we leaving this place behind us. It ain't even going to be in the rear view. It'll be while we're on the way out. And after a while, it's so far behind. We in the new land. He taking us home, beloved. Do I know when? No, I don't. But do I know it's going to be? Yes, I do. We leaving this place behind us. Be encouraged. Shalom, beloved. I got to make sure this time I know how to turn this off right. <laughs> Shalom, beloved. A word.